New details tonight on the man accused of setting off that deadly blast in Panaca. The FBI is now involved after finding explosives inside his RV in Kingman, Arizona. As 13 Action News anchor Christopher King tells us tonight, police say that man had already assembled some bombs. This is where Glenn Jones used to park his RV. Police say they found 40 pounds of explosives and at least 15 devices already assembled. And they say if those bombs would have blown up, they would have wiped out these RVs you see nearby. A loud and chilling boom. The bomb squad detonates 10 explosive devices here at the Zuni Village RV Park in Kingman, Arizona. The terrifying remnants police say of bombs left behind by Glenn Jones, the man accused of setting off a deadly blast in Panaca. This is some scary stuff. Nettie Conklin and her husband parked their motorhome next to the space where Jones used to live in his RV. That doesn't sit well with me. It shakes up Conklin to think her next door neighbor is accused of building bombs. He could have he could have ruined my husband and I's lives along with my dogs, along with how many other people. Police tow away Jones's RV and reopen the park so the 100 people forced to leave can return to their homes. His motor home was right there. Ray Brayman lives on the other side of Jones's RV space. He says Jones acted strangely benevolent in the days leading up to the explosion that would take his own life. They gave you money. 300 bucks. How surprising was that? That was surprising, and he said maybe this will help you to rent. Brayman says Jones even gave him 140 more dollars and food. He never had any idea anything was wrong. Did you ever think that he was doing this as sort of the last thing that he did before he died? No. Oh. Police detonated five devices at another location and they've handed over Jones's RV to the FBI so they can continue their investigation. In Kingman, Arizona, Christopher King, 13 Action News.